Folks, if you've been on my channel for any length of time, you know we talk about the housing market a lot. I've often said there's really two things you need to be following. One is obviously the housing market with your buy box, but you also must be following the mortgage or lending market. For example, Freddie Mac uh, will be changing on March 7th, 2023, so three short months away. They will be changing the seasoning period for cash out refis from six months to 12 months. Folks, you've got to watch the lending market. You've got to work with professionals. And to do that, we're having a conversation today with Matt, the mortgage guy. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing good, Mike. How you doing? Hey, uh, the mortgage market never stops. Uh, I think we're in a period where rates are going to be go down, but I actually think mortgage will be getting tighter. We'll be getting less yes answers. And changes like this, cash out refi going from six months to 12 months seasoning is just one of many changes that I think is coming. Yeah. Wonder no longer. Mortgage is getting tighter, you know, and, and it's it, it it'll it ease up on you because unless you're paying attention to it and, and, and working in it every single day, it's hard to see. But, you know, all it takes is my team saying, man, I can't get an approved eligible on this loan that the ratios don't look that bad to me. And, you know, internal talks with other mortgage brokers on, um, hey, it's great that we're making some of these lower um, income borrowers uh, loans cheaper, like the removal of the LLPAs and stuff. But by the way, like how high we can approve them is lowering, right? Because, yeah. you know, they, they they can tweak all they want, the, the system and the algorithm to say, if they've got X credit score and they've got X in reserves, then we want the, you know, debt to income ratio to be under this to give an approved eligible. Because everybody thinks that it's just a, hey, under 50% or under 45 on this program. It, it it's not that simple. The right. the the algorithm that you plug in to get an approval factors in your payment history, your credit score, your reserves, all those other things. And so, you know, it definitely is getting tighter. This is another example too, where I think, you know, things like cash out refinance and conventional loans are seen as like, it's not a necessity. Right. right. This is for borrowers who are making moves and, and conventional is, in my opinion, viewed by the industry as, you know, I don't know, the rich man's loan, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> and, yeah probably. And so, um, you know, as this stuff gets tighter, um, it allows the agencies to, um, when they increase the cost of it, take that money and and aim it at low to moderate income first time home buyers which is their initiative they've been talking about for some time. And so this is just another example of that. Like you said, Freddie changed it from six months to 12 months. Fannie always follows. So within a week, you'll hear them say um, that they're going to go to 12 months as well. You know, this, this affects investors because I believe you're still going to have um, the exception where you're able to do what's called delayed financing, mm. where you can do a refinance to, to pay off some hard money and it, it'll, it'll be look like a cash out refinance. But the difference is, and for a lot of investors, I deal with this all the time, you buy something for 200, you sink 80 into it, and it's worth 400. You're trying to get all your capital back. In order to use that new 400 appraised value, you're going to have to wait a full year. Yeah, exactly. Uh, this is called Burr, often on bigger pockets in other areas. This this will change the game. Burr was really hard, going to be really hard the next year. It's now could be impossible, right? If you buy for two hundred, you spend eighty. It's worth four hundred. You want you you just want your two eighty back. You're gonna wait a year. That's a year of hard money costs. That's a year of private money costs. That's yeah. It's, the game is changing. And the other thing I want to make people really aware of because I've been in the mortgage game as a consumer, not a producer. I don't do any of that stuff, but I've been getting loans and refis and cash outs for 22 years now. Um, just because rates go down doesn't mean getting a loan is easier. I think that's what's going to surprise a lot of people about 2023 is the rates, I believe, will go down as the year goes on. However, I believe the difficulty of getting a yes answer as a home buyer or an investor is going to go up. No, the days of twenty percent investor loans could be over to be twenty five or thirty. Uh, I just, I, I, I just get this feeling that mortgage is going to tighten up as the economy, you know, 
maybe maybe heads into a recession or at a minimum low growth. Right. Yeah. And I think that, you know, it's a fine balance between, you know, people who are creating the rules, wanting to create more mortgages, but also having to factor in risk. Right. Yeah. And, and there's and there's, you know, no shortage of uncertainty with the housing market and 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 whatnot. And so that's going to allow, you know, we, we've we seen it. Like I said, it, it slowly creeps up on you where mm -hmm. uh, at at one time less than a year ago, Mike, lenders were writing two million dollar jumbo loans with three and a half percent down. Yeah. And then somebody reached out to me and I said, that's gone. You can do five percent. And then someone reached out to me the month later. Well, that's gone. Now it's 10 percent. Um, and that, that continues to happen with different products. You know, even the non-QM stuff, we'll see, oh yeah, we can do cash out to 80%. Well, now it's 75. Well, now it's 70. And, you know, they're just going to continue to, you know, make adjustments based on risk. They still want to write loans. They just don't yeah. want to write loans that are going to default. So um, all, all these things um, will change. And, you know, while we're on the subject of refinance waiting periods, um, you know, a lot of conventional loans, were, were written over the last couple of years, we're going to see more and more government-backed loans, FHA, VA, and USDA being written this year, and, and I would guess next year too. Um, those have their own waiting periods. And you know the cool part about FHA and VA is they have the streamline um, where you might write a VA today at 6%, and if rates come down, you could do a streamline refinance. No income stuff, no appraisal, really easy um, refinance to do if it makes financial sense. Um, both, well, FHA, I think it's 210 days from the purchase and VA is pretty similar, except for they measure six months from the first payment date. Oh. Um, so I, I would say roughly 210 days for either one. Um, USDA okay. to, to refinance those, and those are less common loans that aren't being written a lot, but rural area loans, mm -hmm. um, 12 months of on-time payments. Okay. Before you can refi USDA. You know, it's something I actually learned. I was looking at it, you know, USDA is such a small niche and, and a product that's not used that often, but they actually do not do cash out refinances. So there's no such that. thing as USDA. Yeah, I learned something new this week too. So I guess we're, we're getting better every day in 2023, buddy. There you go. There you go. <laughs> well, uh, the, the big part of this conversation is you have to work with a professional that's in the business doing it. If you are doing FHA, VA, you can still get your Freddie Fannie, you know, 10 loans. You got to reach out to Matt, the mortgage guy. How should they do that? Go to greatmortgagebroker.com, fill out that form. We'll be in touch. I'd love some feedback too, because I we've got a lot of ORAT uh, folks reaching out. Should I shorten that form? I went through it the other day and I was like, eh, we asked 10 questions. Should we ask six? Should you just want to, you just want to fill out a shorter form and get on the phone with someone? Because either way, we're going to call. Either way, we're right. going to, you know, go through, you know, goals and how we can help. So yeah. um, along with going to greatmortgagebroker.com and filling out the form, um, if you do it or you've done it and you've got some feedback for us, I think uh, like yeah, all least, things in my business, yeah, I want the feedback on how we can get better. Yeah. Do me a favor, folks. If you've used it, uh, leave comments. If you want to go to it, check out the 10 questions. Leave comments below. I'll ask Matt to come back and take a look at the comments after this video goes live. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Mike. Mm -hmm.